My name is Malcolm Robertson. I'm 54 years old. I live in Louisville, Kentucky, and I'm a five-year pancreatic cancer survivor. I had been experiencing some mid-back pain. The imaging was inconclusive. My brother is a radiologist, and I sent all my imaging studies to him and his colleagues. They probably spent quite a bit more time on it than they might a typical patient, so I had the benefit of their expertise. They were very concerned, and they suggested I meet an oncologist. After some biopsies, it was confirmed I had pancreatic cancer. For the first three days or so, it was pretty shocking. I'm not sure I had a lot of hope, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm a student of science. I enjoy reading about cancer and it's just an interest and hobby of mine. So I knew how devastating pancreatic cancer is for patients and their families. I was very frightened at that time. I'm also a BRCA patient. I'm BRCA2 positive. I knew that prior to the cancer diagnosis. My uncle, he was diagnosed with male breast cancer. My father has passed away from prostate cancer. I knew the statistics and I knew pancreatic cancer was a risk for BRCA patients and it was difficult to get by for the first few days. But I was fortunate working with my brother who is a doctor and uh, my next door neighbor is a physician. They provided a lot of of advice to me. Ultimately, we decided to go to MD Anderson. Years ago, I lived in Houston, working in chemical engineering. That's the center of chemical engineering in the United States is Houston. So I know a number of people, friends down there. So I felt fairly comfortable going through my surgical treatment at MD Anderson. I did my chemotherapy here in Louisville. So I did four cycles of chemotherapy before surgery. I recovered for a couple of months after the surgery, and then I completed the chemotherapy with another eight cycles. The hardest part for me was probably the chemotherapy treatment. It was worse for me than the surgery. I do recognize how much much. It provided a life-extending treatment for me, so I'm grateful for it. That being said, it was very difficult. Status right now is no evidence of cancer. The BRCA patients in particular tend to have better outcomes for pancreatic cancer. I knew that after my reading, so that did give me some hope. Having the biopsy done, and in particular the genetics made of the tumor itself, can lead to targeted therapy that can lead to better outcomes. And when I was first diagnosed, my children were six and two, and that was clearly a motivating factor for me. I want to see my children grow up and reach their milestones. That that motivated me to try to obtain the best care possible. The care and love expressed by my family was very motivating as well. My wife assumed all the childcare responsibilities during the period of my treatment. My mother was a great source of inspiration. She drove me to all my chemo treatments. And my brother, he would travel here to see me. And then he traveled to Houston to be there for my surgery. My personal friends and my work friends were also very helpful. I work in a manufacturing location, so it's spread out over many buildings. And they bought me a golf cart to drive between buildings anytime I needed off from work was always granted. The advice I would give to someone who has pancreatic cancer would be to be a strong advocate for yourself. You don't always have to take the first option presented to you. Don't be scared to get a second opinion. When you first enter into a treatment program, it can be fairly daunting. You know, I gained a little confidence on my own skill and ability to try to navigate the healthcare field and to try to make the best treatment choice for myself. My life is good now. I work full time as an engineer. I enjoy my work. I do have a new normal when it comes to uh, eating, but it's not bad. I had pizza last night. You just have to be a little more cognizant of what you're eating, but my life is good right now. I have two young daughters that I do a lot of activities with, gardening out in the yard, hiking or camping, and we have a good time doing that. Pancreatic cancer can be survivable. I'm an example of that. I know several survivors, even locally here in Louisville. My outlook in life has changed to be more grateful, to love my children, spend time with my children, spend time with my wife, and to enjoy their presence every day. So my life is good now.